Hi, I'm Mark from Firebugs. Welcome to this series using the ARD2 Innovate Shield and Snap for Arduino. In this lesson, we will be putting together the code in Snap for Arduino for our Blink sketch using the ARD2 Innovate Shield. For this sketch, you want to make sure your digital jumpers are in the LED position. The first thing that we're going to want to do is just grab the when clicked block out of the control library. We don't have to use the when clicked block we can use a key pressed block so we can press a key on the keyboard but for this one we're just going to use the when clicked block to make it simple. Next thing that we're going to need is our forever loop. So just drag that over here and put that on the bottom of the when clicked block. The next thing you'll need is the wait block and if you head over to the Arduino library up here you're also going to need the set digital pin block right here. Come up to this library here and go down and grab the true and false block here and you can drag that into the uh, set digital pin block like this. Now you can type a value in the set digital pin block just like this. So the value that we're going to use, we're going to be setting digital pin 13. Now the blocks are a little small at the moment so if you can't see them properly you can change the size of them just like this. So for the video we'll change the size so you can see them a bit more easy. Now what you want to do is drag the weight block onto the bottom of the set digital pin block and make sure that your value is set to true and you want to right click duplicate it and drag it onto the weight block and set the true to false drag that into the forever loop and it's pretty much ready to go. Come over to the Arduino library, connect Arduino, make sure your board with the R2 Innovate Shield is plugged in, connected, happy prototyping, we're ready to go. Now that is most of the code right there. That will cause pin 13 on your R2 Innovate Shield to blink just like so. Now if you want, you can play around with it a bit, you know, be creative, get your imagination running and change it around a bit, maybe even change the values and see what different things that you can do with this sketch right here. We would love to see the kind of things that everyone in the community comes up with playing with this code. So if you come up with something awesome and you can blink all the LEDs instead of just blinking one. Send it through to us on our Firebugs Facebook page, which there is a link to in the description. And as you can see here, we're just experimenting, changing around a bit, seeing what we get. So that's pretty basic. If you have any questions and comments, feel free to contact us. There's all the links in the description. And thanks for watching.